in the last episode I was talking about my engine problem and I had a lot of you reaching out to me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube comments, emails to offer me your help uh, for the fixing of the engine and it's really really kind of you, thank you so much, I'm really touched by it but as you will see in the coming episode I will end up finding a solution to this engine problem and about the delay in the videos, it's because I had a shit ton of work, always. So I'm living, sailing, working as a skipper on charter boats, getting licenses and editing on top of all these. Plus now, I have joined the clipper race as a first mate and will be circumnavigating really soon, racing on all the boats that are here around me. But this is coming, no worries. I'll be taking you on this circumnavigation, still vlogging during the race. And if you still want to give me a hand, please do like this episode. Subscribe to the channel and talk about it with your friends. Share it on Facebook, Instagram and at your next family dinner or day after work with your colleagues. Cheers. In the last episode, I decided to stop struggling with the fixing of my engine and sailed from Martinique to Guadeloupe to put some wind in my sails and try to find a second hand seat in the head. So the, uh, the first half of the night was kind of okay, managed to sleep, you know, maybe two, three hours, but uh, since midnight, so many squalls all the time, the wind constantly changing direction and strains, I have to be up and steering most of the time and adapting sails. Yeah, it's okay, I just took a break now to make a tea and... Uh, so I can warm up a little bit. It's not that cold outside, but because I'm wet, there is lots of waves breaking on the boat and uh, also rain quite often. So yeah, warming up a little bit with tea and going back there. Sound of, of sailing. the boy over there? No, you probably can't, but that's the finish line for the Route du Rhum. I'm actually passing the finish line. I haven't took the start line, but I mean, last year, does it count? And the third competitor, uh, the three or four in the class 40, is arriving right there. I'm kind of third, I think. I mean, on the finish line, at least. I don't have a class for me, but anyway. Did the audio on?
It. Let's see what's the damage in there. Because I barely entered here to make some tea at some point and to warm up some food. Otherwise, the front cabin is a mess. That's one of the competitors of the Route du Rhum, uh, class 40. I just crossed the line before him. Don't tell him. Alright, so I put a bit of order in the boat and ate something and had a nap, so let's not forget the main reason I'm here is looking for a spare part for my engine. So going on shore now to uh, do my clearance and we'll, we'll uh, start scouting for, for a head cylinder or for another engine, I don't know, but yeah, some work to be done online. All right, now we're ready to go. Almost. Turn me on, light the match that brings a dawn. Turn the page, write the book. Tell me things that will make me look. Wake up, ashes. Turn me on. So I have some friends that are coming to sail for the day and we're going to go to Ile Gosier, which is a small island nearby which is really nice but I have a little fix to do before we leave on the on the main sail I have one of the the link between the traveler and the sail broke on the way here Look at this so I need to sew it back should be easy
comme on est avec des fins régatiers, on va, on va s'envoyer le spi. Ouais, je vais faire la drisse et tu, tu feras l'écoute. Comme ça, on est bas. And after a really nice day on the water, we headed back to Le Gosier, where I dropped off the boys. As we entered the marina, I had to dock the boat all in the sails in between two expensive racing boats from the Rue du Rhône. Unfortunately, no more battery to record the performance, but it was definitely a good training. Stay tuned for the next episode, as the adventure continues, fossil fuel free of course. We've both been here before, and we both know the stuff. If you came home tonight, we'd both be fine for a while. But eventually, we'd have to say goodbye. Bye.